Hello everyone and welcome, welcome to episode 19 of Terraria 1.4 Journey Mode playthrough. Uh, as you can see we're here in the hallowed biome and I've set up a bit of an arena. I've been doing quite a bit of grinding since the previous episode. Uh, I know I said I wasn't going to upgrade my armor until after I defeated Queen Slime. Uh, but I did go ahead and upgrade to the ranged titanium set, simply because as I was grinding, I was getting absolutely destroyed by regular enemies, so I figured I needed a bit of a boost. Um, I've also upgraded the frog whipping thing that I had with the... I combined that with a flipper uh, to get armor... well, to get frog gear, which I think the only thing it added me is the, the ability to swim. Um, so, yeah. And I also went ahead and killed the wall of flesh another few times until I got the ranger emblem, since that's the main attack style that we've been using so far. Uh, so this is my setup at the moment. And I also um, grinded up the underground hollow a bit, so I got some pixie dust, some unicorn horns, some um, crystal shards, so I now have greater healing potions instead of just regular healing potions. Um, which I will actually just top off real quick. And in terms of buffs, well, arrows, I'm using holy arrows, actually, because I got them from the unicorn horns and the pixie dust. And buffs, I have mostly the same. I think endurance, thor and thorns are new compared to what I usually use. And I went ahead and got a few uh, queen slime summoners as well, so we can go ahead and do that. Uh, so I'm going to... Don't actually have any idea of uh, what the mechanics are in this boss, so it'll be completely new to me. I've just seen some screenshots of it, so I pretty much just know what it looks like, and that's about it. Um, but I think it's similar enough to the King Slime, or probably just a bit more crazy. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to buff up, and we are going to try and take down the Queen Slime. Um, I... Oh, it's over here. Okay, whoa, okay, so she can already... I can already see that she can move pretty fast. She... Okay. New sound effects are pretty cool, like a little wobble kind of... Oh, there's some flying slimes as well, so it's something to watch out for. Uh, whoa, they deal a lot of damage, wow, okay. So I definitely need to clear out the little ones as uh, soon as possible, I think. Um, and not get caught in that, because, Jesus, if you look at the damage that these things are doing, that is quite crazy. Okay, so they're just projectiles, and then he's also summoning the slimes. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just focus the project the slimes a little bit. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, if we didn't have the titanium armor, we were getting quite destroyed at the moment, so I think it's fair enough that uh, we went ahead and got that. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the way of doing this is, but it looks like we're... yeah, we're, we're dead. <laughs> so, and that was with all the buffs that I had. We didn't even get it down to half HP. So to be honest, it seems like these slimes that she was summoning are probably what the main problem was. Um, I'm not quite sure what to do against that. I'm gonna just heal up, and we're gonna go back and attempt it again. Uh, because, well, what, how else are you gonna get used to the mechanics other than just attempt to get over and over, basically? So, yeah, I'm gonna grab some more potions and buffs. Oops, uh, and of course another summon. And we're gonna go ahead straight back to the jungle biome and attempt that again. I actually also realized that I have my uh, uh, spawn rate set to zero while I was grinding out the summons, so I'll set that to about one and we can uh, get started. So I will also this time I'm just gonna summon my staff because why not? And we're gonna buff straight up and try that again. And uh, yeah, see what happens this time. So she has about 36,000 health, which is quite a lot. Uh, I'm gonna try and take down the uh, summons if sooner this time, potentially, because uh, they, I think they're what, yeah, those things are what deal those weird geyser effects, and they're what uh, deal the most damage to me, it seems like. If I focus on the Queen Slime, I can obviously take her down quicker, but then that leaves me more vulnerable to all these uh, little ones. So I definitely need to take them down and try and avoid all the other crazy shenanigans that's going on as well. And we did okay this time, but um, can I get too, too, uh, yeah, see, uh, <laughs> as soon as I said we're doing okay this time, she is already basically killed me, and uh, I have another, like, 30 seconds until I can heal, so this isn't exactly going amazing. Uh, one thing that I may attempt 
Well, I think flying around seems to give me more of a, a, a dodge, because uh, those... Okay, so those things seem to bounce on the floor, the pink gel things. Uh, I can't tell if that's true or if that's just me thinking that they do. And that was a completely terrible jump there, but we can heal now. Um, so I'll probably last about another two seconds instead of one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so we're, we've got a dance of about half health. Um, so that is something, I suppose. Uh, it might be a good idea. Oh, she seems flying now. So that so once she gets to half HP, it seems like she flies. So I'm not actually sure what the best way of doing this is. It seems that some of the slimes that she summons fall to the ground. So if I make this arena higher, they might not uh, be able to get me as much. Uh, but then on the other hand, it also seems like our flight with these boots isn't quite good enough, so we may need to go ahead and craft some wings uh, to be able to attempt that again. Um, in terms of accessories, there's probably a few things we could get, but to be honest, for the moment, I think it's mostly okay. Wings would probably replace the um, balloon here. This would... Uh, still allow us to get up the wings to fly higher quicker so i think that would be a good thing to leave on and then obviously the shield gives us the dodging effect um so i think the only accessory that i would potentially get to make this easier would be the uh, with some wings instead of this balloon here because that would also negate fall damage so it wouldn't really uh, be too much of an issue and probably extend the arena a little bit higher as well i think um but other than that um it seems like we just have to get used to dodging her attacks. Because uh, we were damaging her pretty well. We got her down to about half, which she seemed to then start flying. So I'm not sure exactly what will happen in the second phase there. Um, but we definitely need to prepare a bit more. Because we don't have um, that much defense, obviously. And uh, she seems to completely take like a third of our health off in uh, one hit. Uh, I don't believe that this royal gel would help, to be honest, against her uh, minions. Um, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, we're going to go ahead and try and take down a wyvern instead in the meantime, since we will need Souls of Flight, and that is technically a mini boss, so for some reason that's set on 10. I don't know why that keeps happening. So you can, you can clearly uh, see that I set that on 1 a lot of the time, but then quite often it just seems to go up as well, so I'm not sure exactly what's happening there. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead up to the Sky Lake here, and we're gonna try and take down a Wyvern. In terms of what wings I would like to get, I would say that uh, I don't believe I can get Molten Wings yet, but Ice Wings would potentially be a good alternative. However, we would need to wait for a Sandstorm to get those, and then take down a Ice Golem to have a chance of getting those, which might be quite difficult. Alternatively, we could just go for the pixie wings like I saw exist, and I think there was some also some angel wings which you could craft with souls of light, um, which I think probably uh, about the same. Uh, I'm surprised nothing has spawned, honestly. I haven't seen even any harpies, so I'm not sure what is making the enemies not spawn while I'm up here. I don't know if this island is actually too high up, um, or not high enough, but, uh, but it's, it's definitely high enough at least, but uh, I don't know if it's too high. I would like those feathers, but um, I'm not, it's not going to be the end of the world if I don't get them. Of course, when you're saying you're going to take down uh, <laughs> the wyvern on camera, obviously doesn't want to spawn, but that's typical. But uh, I, I honestly didn't think we would have too, that much of an issue with the Queen Slime. I was expecting it to be a bit easier with it being the uh, first hard mode boss. Because uh, in terms of upgrades, there's only a limited amount of stuff we can get before we even take down the first mech boss. Uh, one thing would probably be the Daedalus Stormbow. Because uh, that would be honestly just amazing. Uh, we'd have to take down some Hallowed Mimics to be able to do that. Uh, Duck, if uh, the... If the... Um, Wyvern doesn't spawn in the next few minutes, I might actually, or a few seconds even, I might go ahead and try and take down a Hallowed Mimic, in fact, because I um, can duplicate the uh, Souls of Light that I've farmed out, so we could just craft the uh, Key of Light to be able to get those a bit quicker, and 
the attempt at. Let's see if we can at least get the Daedalus Stormbow, because I think that would be a pretty good item to have. Um, I, it's a really great weapon in my opinion. And, uh, probably may be required as we're in Master Mode difficulty to take down some of these bosses. Uh, so it looks like the Wyvern doesn't want to spawn. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and quick stack all the glass, and we are going to grab some souls and craft a some keys of light. As soon as I figure out where to craft those, here we go. So, well, I, might, I might just grab a few and uh, so leave it at that. And we will uh, grab a chest, obviously, and we'll take a few of these over to the arena that we have here. And um, this will be where we'll try and take down the Hallowed Mimics. Uh, so for this, I will grab just a couple of buffs, mainly because, uh, well, I think the Hallowed Mimic is pretty tough. So I'm not going to grab too much, um, but I'm going to buff up there, and we're going to go ahead and try and take down a Hallowed Mimic here. So uh, I don't, I'm not sure how hard this will be. Probably we should be fine, I would like to say, as long as we dodge the attacks. Damage-wise, we're fine, definitely. Um, I don't know, if they, they, I remember these guys being a lot more... There you go, let's... I remember them being more aggressive pre-1.4. Honestly, this looks like it's not really doing that much. So uh, I kind of uh, underwhelmed a little bit. I remember these uh, mimics absolutely wrecking me the first time I encountered one. Um, but I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm used to them, maybe it's because I'm fighting them in a nice setup arena with flight and everything. Um, but, uh, yeah, if we can manage, if we, uh, have to get the Daedalus Stormbow straight away. They do deal, wow, that took, like, half my HP off in one hit, though. So, they, they are definitely dangerous. So, we got the, wow, well, we got a mythical crystal, uh, shard thing. I don't think that's the best of weapons. Um, but, um, uh, seeing as we still have buffs and plenty of HP, I'm gonna go ahead and try and take down another one. Because, why not, honestly? And, uh, yeah, basically, if, um, I don't have time to attempt the Queen Slime again in this episode, I will prepare by getting a, probably a set of wings, getting the Daedalus Stormbow, like I said, and potentially seeing if there's any other accessories we could get, or more buff potions, and then I may attempt the Queen Slime again. I think for the most part it's just gonna be in terms of, uh, getting used to the mechanics, so I think we're prepared enough, uh, in terms of equipment be honest, because uh, this would typically be, like, minus maybe the Daedalus Stormbow, would be what I would probably use to take down the mech bosses, and I think they're meant to be harder than the Queen's Slime. So, uh, oh, okay, so they shoot my arrows back if I she get into that form, so that's something to uh, watch out for. Uh, yeah, that felt like half my health to myself there, just by shooting myself with an arrow, so that's, uh, I, I don't remember them doing that before, so that might be new, or am I just be used to not fighting them in ranged? So hey, we went ahead and got, we got the Daedalus Stormbow actually, so that's good. And so I'm gonna go ahead and teleport back to base here. And uh, I don't know how much gold we have, or how much this thing costs to reforge you. Um, Unreal obviously would be amazing. Ruthless is pretty good too. Um, because knockback isn't really going to be that important against the, uh... So, I don't know if this is actually better than the, um, repeater that we have, but I may as well just take both with me, because I don't really need this musket anymore, honestly. And, uh, I may as well get rid of the rest of the stuff. I'll keep you. Um, but if I, uh, now that we have the bow, I might just go ahead and reattempt the Queen Slime once more, um, to see how we get on. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, turn enemy spawn right down just while I, um, while I get over there and get the buffs ready. And I also make it daytime. I'll probably make it stop the rain. <laughs> uh, just so, uh, we can see what's happening a bit better. So, if I go ahead and grab my buffs again, so we have archery, obviously important, calming, endurance, heart reach, inferno, iron skin, regeneration, swiftness, thorns, and a major improvement to all stats. So we definitely have enough buffs, uh, I assume you guys would agree with me on that. 
Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put the enemy spawn rate back up to 1, and we'll give the Queen Slime one final Oh god, the unicorn. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take care of this thing real quick, and then we'll summon the uh, Queen Slime once more this episode, and try the Dangerous Stormbow out this time, and see how that does. Oh, he spawned right on top of me. Okay, so we'll see how this goes. We already seem to have dealt quite a lot of damage, and we're all already at the heal. I'm not sure exactly what hit me there, but it spawned pretty much on top of me, so that might have been, might have been hit. Um, I think uh, it's quite hard to, like, obviously, I can only aim as far as I can see, so we can't get too far away from her, which is probably, I don't know if that's uh, a disadvantage in this fight, because range is probably a good idea, considering all the... Uh, Things that the uh, slime seem to spawn at us, view at us. Um, somehow we haven't actually been hit too much yet this fight, which is quite surprising. Uh, I think uh, going up and down the platforms a bit is helping me out because the uh, slimes are spawning themselves on different layers, which then makes me uh, able to dodge them a bit more. So she's now in her second form. Uh, she's flying about. I don't know if uh, she gets. Uh, okay, so she seems to be attacking me more directly. Uh, I still can't heal for the three seconds. I may have stopped there to look at the timer, so that's not a great idea. So, yeah, the second form is definitely something we have to get used to. I feel like the Daedalus Stormbow is better in general against her, because it seemed to clear out some things more. So I might just add another layer onto this arena and um, basically give it a few more tries and see if I can get used to her mechanics. For some reason, I don't know why all these buff potions didn't use them. I might have still had a few of them active from before. Um, but yeah, that is uh, probably going to call it there for this episode, because I don't want to attempt this too many times uh, and keep dying. But I will bring you guys back for uh, any for uh, if I have any successful attempts on her. And uh, we will... Um, so the next episode will start off trying to take revenge on the Queen Slime. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. There's been a bit of, uh, well, it's uh, the first time taking on the Queen Slime for me, so at least you guys had that live reaction, and um, we've uh, upgraded. We've managed to get the data of Stormbow, obviously, and I will uh, try and get some new stuff ready for the next episode. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed the episode, feel free to leave a like, comment, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.